Hey, Trip Zero here, and uh, another little bit about this uh, seedling development station is the feed that I use on the plants uh, to give them nutrients. So this is grown, these are grown in rock wool cubes, which are inert, have no nutrients, uh, and these were actually seeded in rock wool and since they got big, I've transplanted them to larger containers and uh, with, with actual, um, uh, an organic seedling mix. Um, but I still feed them all the same nutrient mix, which is water-soluble rice in this five-gallon thing. That's it. It's, um, I use the... Uh, 16, 16, 16 with the mid-liter um, nutrient mix pack and also the mid-liter pre-plant pre formula, a little bit of that. So I use about one, uh, my rows outside in the greenhouse are about 12 feet long, uh, that I've got a measuring, how, how much, uh, measuring cup that tells me how much nutrients I need for that. I use one serving for a, a row, I dissolve that in the five gallon bucket, and I don't put new fertilizer in until this bucket is gone. So it's kind of, it's pretty diluted, it's pretty watered down, and uh, so far the plants seem to be enjoying it. Um, this one is got a little bit, I mean, these leaves look a little bit uh, yellowing um, so I've got my milliliter book I'm gonna look up what that is it's probably some some nutrient they need they're telling me same with these leaves some of them especially on these uh, Cherokee purple tomatoes they look rather yellow um, so I'll figure out what that is and add the nutrient I just add the pre-plant mix to it and started feeding that just a few days ago, so that might have have been it, but we'll see. I'll look it up to make sure. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, nutrient solution. I just basically get this Gatorade bottle and I, you know, kind of stir it up a little bit, and uh, then I feed it to the plants just a little bit, not too much at a time. And that's that. So nutrients are important, especially if you're growing in inert uh, uh, substrate, and uh, that's it. So nutrients, trip zero out.